right, folks, it's me, Stack Up Sketch. I am here with Jordan. You have made, uh, you were the creator of Battletech. Uh, that is true. Guilty as charged. All that time ago, the board game? The board right? game 33 years ago, an embarrassingly long time ago, yes. Well, now, 33 years later, we have a new Battletech game coming out. We do, and it's really exciting, because it's like, you know, from 33 years ago, that, that stuff I dreamed, we're not putting on screen. So what, what is the new Battletech? We've done over a dozen video games in the Battletech universe over the last three decades. Um, what's exciting about Battletech is it's the first return to a turn-based strategy version of the game, which of course where oh, it started. Wow. Yeah, I mean we started as a tabletop strategy game, uh, and this is the first kind of re, uh, really kind of modern version of that game. Uh, and it's so exciting to be able to take it, all the tools, the incredible graphics we can do, the computational sophistication we can do, and really open it up into a into a great world of uh, of depth and, and fun. Now the turn base is really interesting because even the the mech assault and mech uh, commander games weren't true turn based. Oh, no, they, they were, were more they were, of your real time hybrid. Exactly, hybrids. exactly. So are you using are you using the grid like? No. So it's uh, uh I guess you know like your your best touchstone is going to be uh, kind of like XCOM, sure. right? So we have uh, it's not a grid system. It's open up. You've got a, a spline that you're dragging out and where you want your mechs to go. Then you set rotation and uh, and you know choose your targets, choose all your weapon, watch out for your heat. All the kind of basics of the of the tabletop. That's all in there. It's all in there, but very fast and accessible. Now, how how intense do you get into it? Are you able? Can I target another mech's legs? Do we get do we get serious about it? Well, and we're serious. All right, right, on, right from right the on. beginning, we're serious. But so, but in this case, you're managing a squad of mech warriors. Okay. And those mech warrior skills, you're managing their skill trees, right? And as they as they get better and better, they start to gain the ability to specialize where they're shooting. So it's a matter of managing not just the mechs, but the mech warriors, the pilots that drive them. Which is kind of a new thing. You normally don't care who's in the mech. Yeah, no, for us it's all about the man in the can. There's kind of three ways to play. There's a big campaign game, which is uh, where you're managing a mercenary company. So the victory on the battlefield has to not only be uh, based upon destroying the other guys or, ach or achieving the ach objectives, but did you make money doing it? Uh, second is uh, multiplayer uh, skirmish play. So you invite a friend and you choose a, a, choose a force and they choose a force and uh, choose a map and a scenario and go at each other, multiplayer. Um, the third is single player skirmish. Uh, so that you can do exactly the same thing against the AI. Uh, so you can create kind of an endless variety of choosing different opponents and, and different maps and playing against them. Have you announced the release date yet? Uh, we've said it's kind of uh, summer of next year. Sure, sure. Uh, where can people follow along to learn more, though, and keep their fingers on the project? Follow along at BattletechGame.com, uh, and uh, based upon the, the pre-alpha that we've been showing, a lot of people have said, hey, I missed the Kickstarter, I'd love to get involved. Uh, so we've opened up the digital tiers of the Kickstarter, people want to get involved in now, and one of those tiers includes uh, being able to get beta access, uh, and we'll be doing our beta this winter. Oh, right on, right on. Now, Jordan, I can't help but notice there's another... There is. What is, what is Necropolis? So Necropolis is a very different type of game. This is a real-time 3D roguelike in a procedurally set dungeon where it's permadeath. Uh, and so it is, uh, it is all action uh, and it is, uh, it's, it's one you've got to be watching out constantly. Uh, you've got you know, two different player characters. This uh, new edition we're, we're publishing um, has a second player character class. The game launched uh, earlier this year with, with our um, uh, Blackheart and now we're bringing the Brute. Uh, and it'll be a free update for everybody who bought the game previously, um, but this adds a whole bunch of new environments and a, and a whole new player character so who's, who is your classic big, uh, you know, axe wheeling brute. I've seen this one over there being played on the floor. It has a real soft art style, stark, but also very colorful. And it's very evocative. I mean, one of the things, you know, we're a small studio and this idea was a really big idea. So that's why the art style was so critical for us. Um, Mike McCain and, and uh, Chris Rogers, our art directors, they really came up with something that is really evocative, really gets the emotional content, but yet is, a, is something we can afford to make as an indie. Where can people now? They can get Necropolis now, right? Uh, so the brutal edition of Necropolis will be available September 6th on Steam. Awesome, awesome. Well, thank you so much for chatting with me. I really appreciate it. You are responsible for a lot of hours of fun on my behalf. I really appreciate that. Thanks for taking time with the show to talk to us. Awesome. Have a great PAX. Thanks. You too.